نمبر نائن ہاتھی مداریا تہار رکھا واٹ کائن آف ورب از دس فارم فائیو واٹ از اٹ فارم فائیو گیو می دا باب باب تبسم تفا الفت تبسم یا فائن تہار رکھا مداریا یا تہار رکھا سی بدن سسٹرس دس واز دا ریزن دیٹ after we finish book 2 we immediately try to understand at least the beginning of these diff- different forms of verbs so that we can get some idea when we come across them and i think this approach inshallah inshallah uh, has benefited you and it will prove even more beneficial later on abasa ya abasu means to fool around huh? to act frivolously saima to become bored yes am that is your mudariya yes am okay brothers and sisters alhamdulillah hmm. we finish the lesson there is a note here that footnote let's do that footnote yukalu it is said saima shayya he became bored of the thing you know wa fi tanzili what is fi tanzili la yas amul insa nu what is the meaning of this la yas amu insan the insan does not get bored min dua al khair he does not get bored with the dua of khair you know he always loves to pray you know now this is uh, quran brother huh? this is from the quran la yasamul insanu min duail khair huh? the man never gets bored from the prayers lesson number 11 adarsul hadiya ashara muftadan come on give me a break brother and sister we have been doing muftadan khabar for a long long time and from the very beginning of our book one we have been slowly slowly trying to understand and master muftadan khabar and i am sure you are all now masters and this is the lesson dr saheb is writing in his you know vision and far sightedness for us to practice everything that we have learned from muftada and sabar and also revise it and learn few more things that we did not do so inshallah you are going to enjoy it very much but i am not going to go in the beginning i am going to go from the exercises huh? i'll go from the exercises Well, and sisters, you already know all these things. And even if you don't write, it's okay. I just wrote it down so that we can reflect on it more. The scholars divides the khabar into three categories. But I have been telling you since the very beginning, five. It is just for the sake of simplicity. Huh? Actually, there are three. But I thought... it's easier for us to make it into five and remember it al mufrad number 1 and what is the second division shibu jumla and what is the third division a sentence huh? so in shibu jumla again we have division what is that division char majrur and zarf remember and then a jumla ismiya and jumla failure so i used to figure out like this 1 2 3 4 and 5 huh? but you will see that they always say 3 and then they subdivide the two sections huh? now i'll read it brothers and sisters al muqtada wal khabar where are you now page number 89 hmm? المبتدا 
ہُو الاسم الذي نتحدث عنه مبتدا از دا ناؤن وچ وی ٹاک اباؤٹ والخبر ہُو الحدیث الذي تتم به فائدہ and then we talk about muftada which will complete the meaning of it or it will give us further uh, explanation about the muftada we in jumla ismiya we have muftada and khabar muftada is the noun about which we talk and then khabar is what we are talking about the noun huh? are you with me brothers and sisters Khabar is what we are talking about the noun. Hmm? And by which we get a useful meaning. By which we get a useful meaning. Al-Kamaru Jamilun. Fafi hadhi al-jumlati nuridu an natahaddasa. We want to talk about Kamar. Anil Kamar. Falazdu al-Kamar Mubtida. Now we all know all these things, huh, brothers and sisters, but I still want to read it, what the Dr. Sahib is explaining us now in his dars, inshallah. Now we want to say about that muftada that it is beautiful. For lafzu jamilun khabar. Al muftada wal khabar. What are they, brothers and sisters? Marfu, we always know Muftada is Marfu, Khabar is Marfu, if it is one word. Min ahkamil Muftada, the rules of Muftada, my brother and sister. Anwaul Muftada, kinds of Muftada. How many kinds of Muftada are there? Two kinds. Al Muftada, Himma either Ismun Sarihun. What is Ismun Sarihun? Explicit noun. Wa imma masdarun mu'awwalun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Allahu rabbuna. So, where is muftada? Allahu. That is ismun sarihun. Al-kira'atu mufidatun. Where is muftada? Al-kira'atu ismun sarihun. Al-julusu huna mamnu. Sitting here is Forbidden, prohibited. So, what is al-julusu? Ismun sarihun. Nahnu tullabun. What is nahnu? It's a pronoun. It is a ism. So, it is ismu sarihun. Okay? Number two, brother and sister. Ba an tasumu khairun lakum. So, what is the meaning of it, brother? Siyamukum khairun lakum. So, an tasumu Brothers and sisters, antasumu is master muawal as a muftita. And then, antafu, which is af, afwukum, akrabu lit takwa. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So here are two examples of master muawal as a muftita. So muftita will only be two things. Either it will be Mastar Mu'awwal or it will be Ismun Sarihun. Very good. Tariful Muftada wa Tankiruhu. Now, Muftada can be definite and it can be indefinite. Okay, brothers and sisters. Al Aslu, originally. فِي الْمُبْتَدَى أَنْ يَكُونَ مَعْرِفَةً Mubtada is always marifa. In original. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No. Marifa means definite. In asal. In asal. In original. Mubtada is always definite. Huh? Kama fi amsilati latiati in the following example. Nushiru al Muftada bihad al Khat. We are pointing out to Muftada with this underline. Okay, double underline. That is uh, how we are now pointing out to Muftada 
to make you understand that they are all definite. So, brothers and sisters, one more time. Atarifu means definiteness. Huh? And Tankir means indefinite. Huh? Please make a note of it. Huh? Tarifu means defin- definiteness. Huh? And Nakira means Tankir is indefiniteness. Make a note of it. Huh? Now the examples comes to show us that in original situation, okay, al-aslu, muftada is always, which is always definite. Huh? It is always definite. definite. Muhammadun, is Muhammad definite? Why? It's a proper noun. Huh? Muhammadun Rasulullah. Ana mudarisun. Is ana definite? Remember, all pronouns are definite. All pronouns are definite. Huh? Definite. Fine. Aza masjidun. Is aza definite? Ah, yes, of course. It's a pronoun. It's definite. Alladhi. Huh? Is it definite? Yes. So these are all muftida. Alladhi yabudu ghair Allahi mushrikun. What is the meaning of this? Sentence, brothers and sisters. The one who worships other than Allah is mushrik. Huh? A person who worships other than Allah is mushrik. Huh? Al Quranu Kitabullah. What is Al Quranu? You can see it is Al. Huh? Ah, okay. Miftahul Jannati as Salatu. So, I don't see mifta definite. Okay, mifta is jannah. Mifta is definite. Why it is definite? Because mudaf ilahi is definite. That is the reason. Huh? And because uh, mudaf cannot take al huh? or thanvi. Huh? That's that's the reason. So mifta is definite because the mudaf ilahi is definite. That will be our explanation. <coughs> Fine, brother and sister. Kad yakunu muftada nakiratan. Now, kad yakunu means it's possible. Maybe. Huh? When kad comes with fail mudariya, then it means maybe. Uh, it is possible that it can be nakira. Be shurutin. What is the meaning of shurutin? With some conditions. Shurut is the jama of shart, conditions. Minha, and what are they? Some of them. Number one, if the khabar is shibu jumla, then the muftida can be indefinite. Then the muftida will be indefinite. Okay? And yakun al khabar. Shibha Jumlati Al Muradu bi Shibhu Jumlati. What is what is the Murad of Shibhu Jumla? I have written here. What is it? Jar Majrur or Zarf. In that case, the Muptada will be indefinite. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Zarf wa Jar Majrur. Huh? Wa an Yatakaddama al muftida and it will proceed the muftida. What does it mean, brother? The muftida will become muakhar. It will come late, and the khabar will come fast. Mukaddam. Indana sayyaratun. What is the meaning of this, brother? We have a car. So where is our muftida? Why it is indefinite? Because the Shibu Jumla is, is coming as a khabar. Huh? So, where is our khabar? In the, only in the. And what will you say? In the Shibu Jumla khabar. And na mudafilihi. Very good. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Li akhun. What is li? Jar majrur. Shibu Jumla khabar. Mukaddam. And akhun is mubtada muakhar. 
Got the idea? So here are here are two examples of Shibu Jumla. Fine, brothers and sisters. Now we have to understand this little bit better than before, huh? brothers and sisters. Because now we will be analyzing questions also. From now onwards, we will be analyzing the questions. And yakun al muptada isma istifham. Noun of interrogation. Are you with me? For asking question. Huh? Now, this line has to be fully understood, highlighted, underlined. What is that line? Wa asma'ul istifhami. Wa asma'ul istifhami. Nakhiratun. Means they are all indefinite. Asma'ul istifhami. They are all indefinite. Highlight this, brothers and sisters. Underline it. Huh? And remember it. Huh? So now we'll be watching for Asmahul Istifham. Okay. Number one. I always feel, brothers and sisters, if you have a clear cut idea, then you will never ever make a mistake. Huh? Can Jar Majur be Muptada? No way. Can Zarf be muftada? No way. So when you see a sentence with jar majrur, forget that it is not muftada. When you see zarf, forget that it is not muftada. Look for something else. So here is a sentence, brothers and sisters. Ma bika. What is bika? It cannot be muftada. Huh? It has to be covered. So then muftada is somewhere else. What is muftada? Ma. And what is ma? Uh, ismu. Remember, brother and sister, ma, man, kaifa, tam, they are all asmaul istifham. What is harfu istifham? Hal and a. Uh, keep that in mind. Now we are in advanced level. So we can easily understand it and inshallah remember it. Huh? So ma, bika, what is bika, jar, majur, shibu, jumla, khabar. Oh, where is muftada? Ma. Huh? What is ma, brother and sister? Ismu istihamin. Ismu istifhamin. Huh? Ismu istifhamin. Hmm? That is your mood. What is the translation? What is the problem? Or what is wrong with you? Huh? What's the problem? Okay. This is what the doctor will ask you when you go to him, you know. Huna. Uh, Ispum istifam ma muftada. Wa jarwa majroor bika is your khabar. Dr. Sahib has explained it nicely. And then man maridun. What is the translation? Oh, sick. Oh, sick. Huh? So if you say man maridun, where is muftada? Man is muftada and maridun is khabar. Also, there is another way of figuring it out. Huh? Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Man maridun. Answer. So and so is so. Say hamidun maridun. So if you say hamidun maridun, then what is hamid? Muftada. And maridun is khabar. So see, man maridun, maridun was khabar. And hamidun maridun, maridun is khabar. Huh? So man was replaced by now hamid. Got the idea? So also in the sentence, when you look for an answer, you will be able to figure out Muptada and Khabar. Huh? We will be practicing it. Huh? So when you answer the question, also Muptada and Khabar will become visible to you, inshallah. Huna ispum istfami man Muptada wa maridun Khabar. Now another thing. You see, we never analyzed these things before. Huh? Because there were questions. Kam Taliban fil fasli. What is Taliban? Tamiz. Okay. Cannot be Muftada. Fil fasli. What is fil fasli? Jar majrur. Cannot be Muftada. So what is left now? Kam is our Muftada. Got the idea? And what is Kam? Uh, ismul if, istifham. Uh, what is Kam? 
Noun of interrogation. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Come Muptada will firstly cover. So this is in detail we are learning now, huh, brothers and sisters. Tartibul Muptada wa khabar. What is the Tartib means? Arrangement, order. What is Tartib? Master, mashallah. What is the verb? Rattaba yuratibu. Mashallah, mashallah. Excellent, Sister Hafsa. May Allah bless you. Brother and sister, this is the way our mind should work. You see a master, catch it. And then we figure out on what pattern it is. And that way we can easily trace the root of it. Inshallah. Al Aslu, originally, and Yatakaddama Muptada ala Khabar. The Muptada always precedes the Khabar. Muptada always precedes the Khabar. Huh? Anta Mudarisun. Where is Muptada? Anta. Huh? Where is the Khabar? Mudarisun. Wa Yajuzu. What is the meaning of Yajuzu? It is permissible. What is the Mahdi? Jaza Yajuzu. Make sure you understand. Make sure you understand. Jaza Yajuzu. Aksuhu. Opposite of it. It is permissible that they can be turned around. For example, Amudari Anta. So if you have a sentence, Amudari Anta. So Mudarisun is not Muftida. Anta is Muftida. Mudarisun is Khabar. Huh? We, we got to figure it out. And the best way will be to answer this question. A Mudarisun Anta? Say Naam. And what will you answer? Ana Mudarisun. See, the Mudarisun is Khabar. There it should be also Khabar. And Ant was replaced by Ana. That is another way of Figuring it out, you know. Fine. وَيَجِيبُ أَنْ يَتَكَدَّمَ مُبْتِدَى إِذَا كَانَ اسْمُ الْإِسْتِفَامِ Now again, the mubtida will precede the khabar if it is اسمُ istifham. Got the idea? Which is like مَا بِكَ مَنْ مَرِيدٌ Are you with me, brother and sister? Then also mubtida will precede, you know. But if the khabar is ismul istifam, then it will precede the mubtada. See? Wa yajibu an yatakaddam al khabaru. The khabar will definitely precede mubtada. Iza kana, if it is ismul istifam. Nahwa. Look at it, brother. Masmuka. Masmuka. Tell me, where is the khabar? Ma is your khabar. Huh? What is ma? It's Mustafa. Huh? So, where is the muftada? It's mu. Mudah mudafili. Fine. Kaifa haluka. What is kaifa? It's Mustafa. Now, it is your khabar. Where is the Muptada? Halu. Huh? So sometimes when Muptada is Ismu Istifam, it will come in the front. And if the Khabar is Ismu Istifam, it will come in the front. In other words, I should say that Ismu Istifam will always come in the front. Now we have to figure out whether it is Muptada. Or it is khabar. Got the idea? We got to figure out. And as I said to you, brothers and sisters, answer it. And you will be able to figure out that it is which is which. Inshallah. Okay. Now number four, brothers and sisters. Hasfu muptida. Sometimes muptida is dropped. Hmm? Yajuzu hasful muptada is ulima if it is known. Ulima is known. Takulu lis sa'ili an ismika. 
Takulu lissaili an nismika. You ask the person about his name, about uh, your name. What will he say? Hamidun. So if I ask you something, Masmuka, what will be your answer? Hamidun. What happened to Ismi? You dropped it. If I ask sister, Masmuki, Hafsa. So what happened? Hafsa is the khabar. You drop the Mubtada. When will you drop the Mubtada? When it is known. When you say Hafsa or Muhammad, it means you are talking about your name. So then the Mubtada can be dropped. Okay, brothers and sisters. Min ahkamil khabar. Rules of the predicates. What are they, brothers and sisters? What are they? We have already done it so many times. Now, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we are expert. Al khabaru imma mufradun. Are you with me? Al khabaru imma mufradun. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Imma mufradun. Ay laisa jumlatun. It is not a sentence. Wa imma jumlatun. Got the idea? And what else? Wa imma shibh jumla. So these are the three kinds. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Anwa ul khabar. Okay, brother and sister, I can change this into Anwaul Khabar. It will be better, inshallah. <sighs> Alif, brother and sisters. Fal Khabaru. Al Mufradu Nahwa. The khabar is one word. Al Mu'minu Miratul Mu'min. Al Mu'minu Miratul Mu'min. What is the meaning of this, brother? The Mu'min is a mirror of the other, you know, Mu'min. Because in him he will see the qualities of Mu'min. Okay, or that other mu'min, okay, will also show him what are the qualities of mu'min. Okay. Wal khabaru jumlatu. Okay. Al mudiru. Put a line there. Al mudiru. Leave it aside. What is the next sentence? Masmuhu. So you analyze masmuhu. Huh? What is ma? It is ismu istifam. What is it here? It is khabar. Are you with me? Now where is muptada? Ismu. Huh? And ma is your khabar. So together this jumla becomes khabar for Al Mudir. Did you get the idea, brother, sister Nasreen? Huh? Al Mudir, Mubtada. What is the news? What is his name? Huh? Al Mudiru, Masmuhu. So Masmuhu is the Jumla Ismiya coming as a Khabar. Al Jumlatul Ismiyatu, Masmuhu, Khabarun. Wahiya fi mahalli rafin. Remember? Fi mahalli rafin. Let's make a, take a simple example. Huh? Muhammadun. <clears throat> what will be Muhammadun? Muftada. Huh? Leave it aside. No, I'm giving you another sentence. Akhuhu tabibun shahirun. Translate that. His brother is a famous doctor. Are you with me? So, Akhuhu, where is Muftida? 
akhu wa huwa mudaf and hu mudaf ilayhi where is the khabar tabibun what is shahirun nah got the idea so akhu hu tabibun shahirun is the whole sentence coming as a khabar for muhammad ha got the idea this is uh, will be uh, much easier to inshallah remember because the other sentence is a question so sometimes question we we are still new to analyzing the question later on we'll become expert inshallah wallahu khalaqakum okay brother what is wallahu muftada where is the khabar khalaqakum what is khalaqakum jumla fa'il what is khalaqa fi'l madin mabni ala fata where is the fa'il mustatir taqdiruhu huwa yadullu ala ala okay so what is kum mafulun bi translate khalaqakum no khalaqakum translate this only he created you he created you so this is your jumla fa'il whole of it coming as a khabar for allah ha huh? got the idea inshallah so this is the division of jumla ha huh? okay brothers and sisters so we got jumla ismiya and jumla fa'iliya now jim brother wal khabaru shibhu jumlati very beautiful sentence brother my favorite sentence al jannatu where is the jannat brothers and sisters tahta qidam al ummahati the jannah is under the feet of thy mother ab she by this one sentence islam has uh, brought the status of mother to the highest level uh, to the highest level uh, anybody who does not treat his or her parents kindly will he be entitled to janna no if you want to have the pleasure of allah subhanahu wa taala then first and foremost we should be very kind to our parents the way they were kind to us when we were very small you know okay there's a beautiful prayer in the quran you know rabbirham ha huh? since we are doing it i will write down this brother This is one of the most beautiful prayers brothers and sisters. Huh? We should say every single day, ha huh, brothers and sisters. Most beautiful prayer. And you should say it by understanding it. Huh? Understand it and then say You see, Quran has to be understood, and then ponder over it. Huh? This is one of the most beautiful prayer, prayers, brother. Honestly, it will move your heart if you really, really understand it. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? No. Since the sentence has come, I can insert one Quranic verse. You know, Rabb. What is Rabbi here? What is originally, brother? Ya Rabbi. What is it? So, what is Rabbi? Ya Harfunida Mazuf. 
Huh? Are you with me? And then, what is Rabbi? This is Munada Mansub. Are you with me? This is Munada Mansub. With Fata. Okay? But why is this a Kasra? Because Ya Mutakallim came as a Mudafilehi. So we ended with a. This is, originally it was Rabba. But Ya Mutakallim came. And it is Rabbi. So where is Ya Mutakallim now? Mazuf. So what happened? Ya Mutakallim I. Apni Nishani Chorke. Chali gay. Ya Mutakallim came. Uh, left her sign and went away. What is her sign? Kasra. Got the idea? So this is Munada Mansub. Harfunida huh? Mazuf. And Ya Mutakallim. Mudafilehi Mahsuf. And what is this? Rabbirham, which is actually Irham. Huh? Rahima Yarhamu. And Irham. What is Irham, brothers and sisters? Fellow Amrin Mabniunala. Mabniunala Sukun. Oh, where is the file? Where is the file? Where is the file, sister of sir? Mustatir. Takdiruhu? Anta, who is Anta? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you say Anta, brother, it means you are talking to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's in front of you. You won't be saying this otherwise. We have to think that Allah is with us all the time. And we are talking to him. Huh? And Allah says, I am everywhere. Huh? Huwa ma'akum aina ma'kuntum. He is with you wherever you are. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Wherever you may be, he is with you. So, so, irham is your amar. Huh? And, and where is the file? Mustatir. Takadiruhu. Anta. And who is anta? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Got the idea? Very good. What is huma? Mafulun bihi. Who are these two huma? Huh? My parents, my mother, and my father. Huh? That is the Huma. Okay. Okay. Kama. What is Kama? What is Ka? Abchab. And what is Ma? Is a Majur. So Kama is Jar Majur. Huh? Kama is Jar Majur. So Kama means like the way you can say. Huh? Are you with me? Ka is like, you know. Rabbaya. Now tell me what is Rabbaya, brother. Kama. So Kama you can say like, you know, like. Huh? Rabbaya. Who wants to answer Rabbaya? Tell me the verb. Rabba. What is the verb? What is the word, brother? Huh? Rabba. What is the word? Rabba. How many letters? Four letters. Huh? What form is this? Form two. Huh? Bab tafil. Huh? Rabba. Okay, brothers and sisters. Let us conjugate. Rabba. Rabba, yeah, that's it, no more. Rabba, Rabba, yeah. Rabba, yeah. Are you with me, brother? So, Rabba, yeah, is Huma. Where is the file? Aleph. Aleph is your file. Huh? So, what will you say? The way they raised me. Rabba is to, to raise somebody. But then, you know, you look after it. Huh? Allah is our Rabb. He looks after us. He provides us. Huh? He does everything for our needs. He does everything and fulfills every need of ours. And what does the parent, parents do, brother? What do the parents do? They do, they do the same thing. When the child is small, the mother will go hungry but will feed the child. Huh? Brothers and sisters. Okay. 
how you want to see the love of mother huh? there is nothing else that can be compared with the love of mother huh? so mother and father when the child is small huh? they do everything for the child huh? they provide every thing necessary for the upbringing of the child okay so we are saying uh, to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, oh my lord uh, it is my lord oh my allah have mercy on them like the way they brought me up what is sagira ha uh, it is the ha the way they brought me up when I was small. Huh? And brother, so Ya Allah, show thy mercy on them the way they showed their mercy to me when I was small. You know? See, can you see the, the beauty, huh? the beauty and the, and the in-depth significance of this prayer? Who can make this prayer? Allah himself only. Huh? He taught us these prayers. And they are in the Quran. Huh? And this is what we should say every single day. Oh Allah, oh my Lord, have mercy on them. Be merciful to them, my parents, my mother and father, the way they brought me up mercifully when I was small. Show your mercy the way they were merciful to me. But this is the most touching prayer. But now remember, today, inshallah, you understood each and every word of it. So when you say it, you are understanding the Arabic. Okay. Because if you were told only translation, brother, it does not have the meaning. Because you don't say this dua in, in English or Urdu. You say this dua in Arabic. So we must understand what are we saying. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah, I did not bore you. It was uh, Inshallah uh, 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 something nice to learn? We will be learning many such things, Inshallah, as we go along. Huh? So this reminded me because of this sentence. Al-Jannatu uh, Tahta Akdamil Ummahati. Oh brother, why this sentence has come? Because Dr. Abdurrahim wants us to teach, wants to teach us Shubhu Jumla. <laughs> okay. Al-Jannatu, what is Jannatu? Muftida. Where is the khabar? Tahta. Remember, Tahta is your khabar. Shubhu Jumla khabar. Huh? And what is Akadami? Mudafilihi. Wahuwa Mudaf. And Ummahati Mudafilihi. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Azarfu Tahta Khabrun. Wahuwa Mansubun Fi Mahali Rafain. Brother Shibu Jumla, if it is Khabar, we will always say Fi Mahali Rafain. But Tahta, it's a Zarf. So, it is mansub. What is it, brothers and sisters? Tahta is a mansub. We are going to learn a lot. Most of the time, the, the zarfs are mansub. Fauka, uh, amama, khalfa, tahta. These are all mansub. We are going to learn, inshallah. Okay? Alhamdulillah. What is lillah? Jar majrur. Shibu Jumla Khabar. What will you say? Jar Majroor. Shibu Jumla. Fi Mahli Rafa'in Khabar. This is the way you will say, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters. We try to finish a little bit more. And then we will do the exercise, brothers and sisters. No, we got to do the main lesson. We haven't done the main lesson. After learning all these rules, brothers and sisters, when we go to the main lesson... Inshallah, uh, we will start analyzing it, you know. Al-Mutabakatahu lil-Mubtada. Huh? 
Huh? What is this? Mota bakata hu. Huh? Huh? And sisters, I'm writing here. What did I write down? Tabaka. What will be the mudarya? Yutabiku. Huh? Tabaka. Yutabiku. Hmm? Tabaka. Yutabiku. Huh? So, agreeing of it, Lil Muptada. Okay, because we are still doing khabar, so means the agreeing of khabar for the muptada. Are you with me? Yutabikul khabaru al muptada. The khabar agrees with muptada, confirms with muptada. So, what is this mutabakata? Master. Huh? What is form three master? Mufa'alatun. What is it? Mufa'alatun. So from tabaka, the master will be mutabakatun. Huh? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Very good. Keep that in mind, huh, brothers and sisters. Agreement. Al-ifrad. What is the meaning of ifrad? Singular. And what is tasniya? Dual. Wal jama. It agrees with Muptada. If the Muptada is singular, the Khabar is singular. If the Muptada is dual, the Khabar is dual. If the Muptada is plural, the Khabar is plural. Example, Nahu. Al Mudarisu, Waqifun. At Tullabu, Jalisun. Okay, dual. Bab al Fasli. Mughlaqani. See, Mughlaqani is your khabar and it agrees with Babani. Noon is dropped. Why? Because it became mudaf. Huh? Okay. Nafizatahu. Again the noon is dropped. Nafizatani became Nafizatahu Maftuhatani. Did you see? The khabar matches the Muftada. If it is Tasniya, the khabar is also dual. 